All right, we're in the good timeline because we're getting a new Mario Party game soon, and Nintendo has been just dropping overview trailers for games very frequently lately, and we just got one for Super Mario Party Jamboree, which I don't think anyone really expected a sequel to Super Mario Party to be the next Mario Party, but uh, there's a lot of changes here, and there's some new modes, and I'm sure they're going to discuss them here, so let's watch them because this is the reaction channel. And also you have uh you have Pauline joining the cast now. Get ready for a four player frenzy in Mario Party mode. Oh my god, they're adding four player Mario Party mode to Mario Party? Here are the seven boards. Is that the most that we've gotten in a Mario Party game? The paths change every time Wiggler moves. Oh, this one's neat. Like me a big wiggler. Ride a race car and steer oh my god, look at Ninji in the cart. Goomba Lagoon. Ah, Goomba Lagoon. I think I'm most excited for this one. We got a mall in the game now. Hang on, let's check. I want to see what these items are. So, 200%, is that like a... A two for one. You got double dice here. You have a warp pipe. You have, uh, I guess this might be some kind of teleport as well. Maybe this teleports to the shop and then I guess a slow dice. During in game flash sales, King Bowser's Keep. Chaos ensues when it's Imposter Bowser's turn. This one's sick. In addition, Oh, we're getting some classic Western maps. Land. Western Land is back. And Mario's Rainbow Castle. I think From we knew about this one. Do we know about Mario Western Land? Make their triumphant return. Can we just have costumes back? Win a special mini game on a board to gain an ally called a Jamboree Buddy. So is this the way they're handling uh, allies now? You have to win a mini game to get one, as opposed to just landing on a space. Because that'd be pretty cool. From copying an opponent's item to launching you across the board. Yeah, they're also having different abilities now instead of just ways. custom dice. Plus, if you get items or coins, your jamboree buddy can get them for you too. Even stars. That's gonna be Mario broken. Mode also supports online play. Challenge your friends or go head to head with random players worldwide. Mini games galore! From action packed activities to rip roaring races, there are over 110 well, Luigi's games pinball. various genres. That's a lot of mini games. In addition to button controls, some mini games are played by gently shaking or tilting the Joy Con controller. Is it, over in mini game is it required though? Enjoy these bite sized blasts in different ways. I would but imagine that it's probably, uh. Required for some mini games. That one's Grab cool. Your Joy Con controllers for these three unique modes. Fly high through the sky in Paratroopa Flight School. <laughs> Two players can wing it together to get passengers to their destinations, or have an aerial showdown by collecting Parabitty Buds. Three soaring activities await. In Toad's Item Factory, you'll control parts of the facility to get the ball to the goal. Work in tandem with other players by gently rotating. And tilting Yeah, so can I just say before we go any further, like, uh, this is cool that they're showing us that there's some cooperative games here. But uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my channel side quest where we play Mario Party games on a couch with my friends. We will not be able to do this. There will be a lot of shouting involved, so. Controller. If you haven't seen my await, group channel, go check it out. Harder. We're not going to be able to do this. We're going to try. Operate. Cook to the beat in Rhythm Kitchen. Four players will work together using motion controls to whip up some dishes. This one seems cool. Dishes. We saw this in the first trailer. Damn, that food looks good. To become the superstar Can the PS5 uh, bring you meat this good looking? The competition worldwide in two brand new online modes. 
It's a 20-player race to the finish in Coupathlon. Coupathlon. Collect coins during minigames to advance on spaces. But watch out for Survivathon minigames during the race. This is going to be crazy. If you lose, Hoping it works you'll well. Be launched backward and might drop in ranking. Can you cross the finish line first? An explosive battle awaits in Bowser Kaboom's Who is this person that got to narrate and this? Players will join forces to collect bombs and attack Imposter Bowser with a cannon. Why is he Imposter Bowser and not actual Bowser? Him within five rounds to is there a story involved victory. here? Is there a story mode? After each round, you'll play an eight-player co-op minigame. It's an opportunity to get a helpful item that can turn the tide of battle. Teamwork is key to winning this fiery frenzy. Besides random matchmaking, up to eight friends can team up to play online in both modes. That's cool. That's a, that's a lot of people you can come play with. Come on, come all. Get your party hats on, because this is going to be a jam-packed blast. So this comes out soon. Honestly, October is like crazy. Oh, it's Imposter Bowser because you can play as Bowser. That that makes sense. Only on the Nintendo Switch system. Get ready for. I don't know why it didn't. Let's watch this again. I just want to. I want to break it down a little more now that we've seen it. All these boards look fun. Super Mario Party Jamboree. Get ready for a four-player friendship. Yeah, we know about this. We could kind of skip through this. I just want to take a, a better look. Ooh, look at the golden Goomba. What does he do? Board. Get the most Why, why'd they dip him in gold? Here are the Is the Rainbow board. Galleria the new uh, the new coconut mall? Boards. Mega Wiggler's Tree Party. I think the this is the one I'm probably most excited every for. Every time Wiggler moves. Rollum Raceway. Ride a race car. This one looks cool too. Your way to victory. It was just Ooh, Mario Party, but uh, moon. with Watch out for people on in individual cars, not in a not in a car together. Although I'll go on record to say that I like Mario Party Nine. Um, a lot of people don't. I think it's fun. It took me a little while to get there, but uh, tide. I wonder if this board Ooh. here, not this one. Where's the uh, where's the raceway? I wonder if the raceway is going to be. Can we get an overview? Is going to be more like uh, Wii Party? Because I I mean, there's a lot of uh, there's not that many spaces here. I thought there were maybe more. Because when you play Wii Party, you you roll like thirty dice, and you go like four hundred spaces. Yeah, so this looks like it's a discount you get. Some kind of flash sale, maybe? Or, no, this is the flash sale. I don't know. I'm excited to see what all the new items do. Price during in-game flash sales. King Bowser's Keep. Chaos ensues when it's Imposter Bowser's turn. Don't say it. Don't say it, comment section. Don't say it. In addition, Western Land and... Put the cowboy hats on them. Uh, I'm glad Mario's Rainbow Castle is coming back because I think a lot of people forget how mean of a game Mario Party 1 is. Like, Mario, the original Mario Party is, it's mean. It is a savage game. I like this. It adds a little more to it, so you got to fight for those allies. From copying an opponent's it's item. the UN of Mario Party. To launching you across the board. Each Thank you, DK. Very cool. In different ways. Plus, if you get items or coins, your oh, there's a quad die here, so you can roll four dice. Jamboree buddy can get them for you too. Even stars. Or maybe you don't play as Bowser. Maybe Bowser is a buddy. I honestly don't even know what the full roster is. I feel like it was shown off, but... uh, Oh, we got some new stickers. I didn't even look at that yet. But I haven't really been paying attention because there's just so much to to go over in October. 
they uh they stylized the stickers a little more. Players worldwide. They look neat. Mini games galore. From action-packed activities to rip-roaring races, there are over. This one's cool. I like the Waluigi's pinball. One hundred ten. Is this a? Is this a four-player or a three v one? Because it looks like mini games across maybe Waluigi just drops stuff on the board. In addition to button controls, some mini games are played by gently shaking. Okay, so there's a Joy-Con controller required for motion control mini games. Motion control mini games not compatible with online mode or Nintendo Switch Lite. So, or tilting the Joy-Con controller. Those are only going to be playable locally. And over in mini game bay. You can enjoy these bite-sized blasts in different ways, like two I'm versus two riding team the banana battles. boat. Grab your Joy-Con controllers for these three unique modes. Fly high through the sky in Paratroopa Flight School. I'm a little confused by this one. Two players can wing it together to get passengers to their destinations. Or Are we playing like Crazy Taxi? Collecting parabitty buds. Three soaring act. Because you have Sky Battle. Both of you should gather as many para bitty buds as you can within the time limit. Try stay Or is it like Star Fox? Oh, then you have Koopa Paratroopa Taxi, which I guess is, uh, it's just Crazy Taxi and then Free Flight to fly around. You'll control parts of the facility to get the ball to the goal. Work in tandem with other players by gently rotating and tilting your Joy-Con controller. 30 stages await, and they get increasingly This can just be a whole video by itself, us just trying to get through Toad's Item Factory. Cook to the beat in Rhythm Kitchen! Four players will work together using motion controls to whip up some delicious dishes. Embark on a culinary quest to become the Superstar Chef! Take the competition worldwide in two brand new online modes. I'm mostly excited for this. It's a shame that you can't play this offline. But then again, Collect coins during anything split screen would probably be a nightmare. So, wait, I want to go back. So, you have... That's quite a bit of spaces. Pauline is mopping up over here. I'm actually sorry. Mario's in first. Pauline's a close second. What is this gap between second and third, though? What is everyone else doing? But watch out for Survivathon mini games during the race. If you lose, you'll be launched backward and might drop in ranking. Can you cross the finish line first? Whoa! <laughs> In Bowser, Kaboom Bowser Kaboom Squad. Squad. Eight players will join forces to collect bombs and attack imposter Bowser with a cannon. Defeat him within five rounds to claim victory. Mini game. After each round, you'll play an eight-player co-op mini game. It's an opportunity to get a helpful item that can turn the tide of battle. Teamwork is key to winning this fiery frenzy. Besides random matchmaking, up to eight friends can team up to play online in both modes. Come one, come all! Look at, do you get to customize your car? Does everyone have a different one? Because you have, oh no, that, he, Goomba looks like he's being chased here. By uh, whatever his name is, that enemy scares the shit out of me. Get your party hats on, because this is going to be a... I'm so excited for this. Mario Party is one of my favorite franchises. I want to know more about the Golden Goomba and why they're erupting from the volcano. I mean, that is Goomba Lagoon, so... Why are they gold? So, I think that's the entire cast there. So, we have... Spike, Koopa Troopa, Bowser Jr. I haven't really looked at this. Bowser, Goomba, Boo, Shy Guy, Monty Mole... Uh, Waluigi, Daisy, Toad, Toadette, Mario, uh, why, why is my brain failing me right now? Birdo, Luigi, Yoshi, DK, Peach, Rosalina, and where's, uh, where's Pauline? Maybe this isn't everybody, and Wario. Super Mario Party Jambo 
Or maybe she's unlockable. Because I feel like every Mario Party game has like two unlockable characters or something. Get ready for the party with pre-orders. Available now on Nintendo eShop. A three-month Nintendo Switch Online individual membership is also included. All right, so pretty excited for that. Can't wait. It's like three more weeks. If you want to see some Mario Party Jamboree content, head over to my group channel, SideQuest, and you can subscribe there. Uh, we're going to be playing a lot of this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.